The first piece we performed was entitled Locomotion, and it's a little bit of a play on words. Locomotion meaning uh, the forward momentum and movement of something, but also the two separate words, loco meaning crazy and motion. Um, as you can hear, some ridiculously ri just stupid rhythms in there, um, but they did a really fantastic job with it. Next, you're going to hear a slimmed down version of two movements uh, from a larger piece called Lincolnshire Posey. The first movement is slow and beautiful, um, and this last movement uh, is a little bit more upbeat like a dance. Percy Granger, the arrangement of the, these um, folk tunes, was well known for taking a folk tune, playing it as is, and then twisting it around and having something on its head. So if it sounds like we're going all peaceful and nice and uh, together, and then all of a sudden something feels off in a snap, it's probably uh, intentional. Um, so this is two movements from Lincolnshire Posey.
The next piece we're performing this evening is entitled Deus Ex Machina, and it comes from the, it's actually a literary device, um, so English teachers, bonus points for me, um, uh, where there is some divine intervention or some twist of fate that is outside the realm of all the characters um, and all the people involved in that story. Musically, Deus Ex Machina is uh, an interesting piece. Basically, the divine intervention that we're going to be playing along with um, is a backing track. Once that track starts, we have no control over it. It just goes. Um, so our job is to allow this divine intervention, the backing track, to happen, um, while the musicians that we have in our group add to it. Um, kind of a nod to the idea of uh, fate is what it is, and it's more about what you do uh, with the circumstances that you're given in life. Um, so this is Deus Ex Machina.
Thanks for sticking with us. This is a heck of a concert. There's a lot of music going on here. Um, can you tell the folks behind me you've had a lot of independent work to do on this? It's an incredible amount of music for just nine people to try and throw together, so good for them. Um, our next piece that we're going to perform um, is entitled Seal Lullaby and is by the uh, choral composer Eric Whitaker. Um, this piece, selfishly, is picked. Um, I'm, my wife and I were lucky enough to have our first child this past December, um, and this piece was written by Eric Whitaker as a lullaby for his son when he was born. Um, so I thought, what better time to program it um, than the semester that I have uh, my first child. So this is Seal Lullaby. Before we move on to our last piece for the chamber group, um, I would like to introduce one guest conductor. Um, as I aforementioned, uh, I've been, uh, uh, sorry, my wife and I had our first child this uh, past December, and so I've been lucky enough to be able to leave uh, for some fraternity leave uh, at the end of this semester. Um, these kids have still been putting the work in uh, behind the scenes without me, and that is in no thanks to my long-term sub, uh, Mr. Mike Myers. Mr. Mike Myers was a band director in this area for a number of years. Um, and then uh, since retired from that job, um, that I decided to uh, rope him back in to uh, fill my spot when I was gone. The last piece the Chamber Ensemble was going to play is entitled Arabian Dances and features our guest conductor and my long-term sub, Mr. Mike Myers. I'm 
neglected to mention that um, the students that have been here working with Mr. Myers uh, for the past couple of weeks, uh, seven, six, seven weeks at this point, um, also wanted to recognize him for his time, dedication, talent, efforts uh, for them. Uh, for helping them. So he is also going to receive a framed copy of the piece that we're performing entitled Arabian Dances and all the students uh, through their signatures and well wishes on there for him as well. Like any good musician, he can't resist an open mic. So while we're waiting on gathering some material, um, I just wanted to thank Mr. Barber and these students for the opportunity to, to do this. This has been so much fun. Uh, all of these students, not only those in class, but those out of class concert band students are just tremendous musicians uh, and tremendous people. And you should be very proud of that, your families. Uh, it's just a pleasure to work with them day in, day out. I can't say enough about Andrew Fauber. You know you have a good band director there and a good man. Uh, and just observing what he's done and accomplished and, and stepping into those shoes. Uh, he's really a talented educator and a committed and passionate educator. It's, it's a blessing for Stuart Straff to have him. So thank you, Mr. Fauber. <laughs>
a long one, sorry y'all. It's a lot of music. Um, can we give those nine performers another round of applause? That is a lot of impressive. <laughs>